and welcome to Afro Entertainment. If you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe and share this video. Hit the bell icon to get the latest videos. The president of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, has asked the leadership of provinces and other stakeholders to proffer strategies for job creations and other alleviations for the country's poor and vulnerable households. Ramaphosa made the call on Monday while addressing the 7th Central Committee of the Congress of South African Trade Unions. He said it's expected that the government should consider extending social support as it will improve links between social security policies and labor policies that grant recipients can move more easily into the job market. Ramaphosa thanked the Congress of South African Trade Union for its support of COVID-19 interventions and praising frontline workers for their dedication. He however noted that the current intervention was limited stating the extent of the physical crisis the government was facing. Unemployment is beyond a crisis level and it is clear that much more needs to be done, he said. South Africa's Our current strategies not are not sufficient skill to address the extent of the problem. For implementing While government had unlocked the stimulus package equal to 10% of the country's, country's GDP, it was time for so South Africa to follow in the footsteps of other countries with and the vulnerable economic and the approach. is more inclusive, he said. He added that job creation remains a top priority as his administration is committed to ensuring that it bridges the gap of unemployment in the country. Subject to long-time affordability, serious consideration should be given to extending further support to the unemployed and those who are structurally marginalized, possibly in form of an extension of the COVID-19 social relief of distress grants targeted food poverty line support. This necessarily requires better alignment and linkages between social security policies so that beneficiaries of social support can move readily into employment. In terms of infrastructural development, Ramaphosa pledged that his administration will be uptight to ensure it meets the needs and demands of South Africans which will cut across all sectors. We are all in agreement that the success of our revolution and the ability to bring about a better life for all depends on improving the capacity of the state. The state must be efficient, developmental and capable. The state must be rid of corruption and malfeasance. The ANC admits that we have made a number of errors in this area and we are working to professionalize the public service. We are implementing a whole range of measures to instill a culture of service across all spheres of government, but especially at local government level where most people have regular and consistent contact with government. The Congress of South African Trade Union 7th Central Committee event was a follow-up of the wage negotiations at the Public Service Coordinating Bargaining Council and South African Local Government Bargaining Council. The Congress of South African Trade Unions have been vocal in objecting to wage deals including a 3.5% increase for local government employees and a 1.5 hink for public servants respectively both of which fell short of union demands. Touching on the differences between government and some unions belonging to the Labour Federation, Ramaphosa stressed that commitment to collective bargaining remain intact and any notion that ANC is seeking to weaken collective bargaining is not true. Thanks for listening and please do well to leave your comments in the comment section.